Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers YouTube channel guys today in this video lecture I will discuss cement plaster cast for one room so in cement plaster cast especially we will find the estimation of cement and sand for plastering one room okay also its wall plastering and ceiling plastering are uh, roof plastering okay we will discuss about this topic so let's start guys first of all guys size of the size of the room is 4 by 4 meter size of the room is 4 by 4 meter okay and height of the room is 3 meter this is the height of room and this is the size of room 4 by 4 meter so how we can find the quantity of cement and sand for one room right so let's start guys first of all guys we need area of plaster first of all so how we can find area of plaster this is the first point so as you know guys area of the plaster we can find with length multiply height so you can see this is length multiply height okay so here how we can find total length because we have this room one side is 4 meter the other side is also 4 meter so 4 meter multiply 4 side because 1 2 3 4 sides we have okay so here guys we can get how 4 multiply 4 how guys because length of the our length and width because this is square room okay so one side is 4 meter so 4 meter multiply 4 walls four walls four numbers of wall we have in this room okay so here guys four multiply four multiply height so guys height is three meter okay so multiply with three so here the area of the plaster is four multiply four so it's become 16 multiply three so this it become 4 point sorry uh, it become 48 meter square so guys this is the area of plaster now guys you can see here we have deduction of door and window so guys this is window and this is door right now we will deduct okay so the second point is here deduction of door and window guys you can see here if you need the ventilation here on the top of or above the uh, window and above the door so you can but i don't need okay so if you need so you can also calculate that okay so now i will detect window and door okay so guys you can see size of the door is here this is door and size of the door is height of the door is 2 meter and width of the door is here 1 meter so area of the door become 2 multiply 1 so 2 meter square is the area of the door okay so we will deduct 2 plus here guys you can see this is window so the the window should be also deduct because guys here i am just finding out the plaster cast inside the room not outside just inside the room okay so guys you can see this is its width is 1.8 meter length is 1.8 meter and height of the uh, window is 1.3 meter so 1.3 meter so guys uh, we will find the area 1.8 multiply 1.3 so we required 1.8 multiply 1.3 so 2.234 meter square 2.34 okay so plus 
okay so deduction become plus 2 3.2 uh, 3.34 plus 2 it become 4.34 okay so 4.34 right meter square the video will be long but it's very important so therefore you must watch this video from start to end to learn something new so now guys area of plaster so area of plaster become here exact area of plaster okay 48 meter square subtract 4.34 4.34 so is equal 48 subtract 4.34 so 43.66 meter square is the exact area of plaster right now guys we require thickness of plaster what should be the thickness of plaster thickness of plaster so guys thickness of the plaster is here that is 12 millimeter this is the plaster thickness okay so thickness of plaster become So the other point is thickness of plaster. So guys, thickness of plaster is equal. So 12 should be divided by because we will convert it to the meter. This is n millimeter, 12 millimeter. So 12 millimeter divided by 1000. Okay, so we require 0 0.012 meter, 0 0.012 meter. This is the thickness of plaster, right? Now find volume of matter for this plastering and this room okay so guys now we required what volume of we required volume of plaster so area of plaster multiply okay area of plaster multiply thickness okay so it will give us volume of plaster okay so now guys you can see we have here area of the plaster is 43.66 meter square multiply 0 0.012 this is the thickness of the plaster so multiply 43.66 multiply 0 0.012 this is the thickness of plaster so guys we required here what 0 0.52 0 0.523 meter cube because this is the volume so this is the matter volume which we will use for plastering in this room okay now guys you can see here add 20 percent wastage material wastage mortar why guys 20 percent because you can see nowadays the labor and also mason they don't care your material so during construction of plastering for house or for the room so they waste about 20 percent material so therefore we will add we will plus 20 percent material with this volume right so guys 20 divided by 100 multiply 0 0.523 so 0 0.1 0 0.146 okay 0 0.146 so we will uh, plus this 0 0.1046 so plus this volume okay so to get full volume okay so 0. Point so this is the wastage material so 0 0.1 this is 20 percent of this okay so 0 0.1043 uh, 0 0.1046 plus 0 0.523 so guys it will plus 0 0.1046 plus 0 0.523 right 
so the volume required 0.6276 meter cube okay so this is the volume of mortar with wastage material also but remember guys this is weight volume this is weight volume now we will convert it to the dry volume because here we have water in this so now we will convert it to the dry volume because we bring dry uh, dry material that is sand and also cement from the market so we will convert it to the dry volume so convert dry volume so when you convert dry volume so we will multiply it or it increase 1.3 uh, it increase 3.33 percent it increase 33 percent okay so when it it increase 33 percent so we will multiply it with 1.33 okay so wet volume multiply 1.33 because it increased 33 percent okay so now we will get wet volume is here guys 0. 0.6276 multiply 133 okay so 0.6276 multiply 1.33 so we required 0.834 okay so 0.834 meter cube is the mortar volume for plastering now guys come to the main point now here we require quantity of cement so guys here is a question we will get which ratio for this so normally we are using a ratio okay ratio of plaster normally for wall we get or we take one six ratio one six one one part is cement and six part is sand so sum of ratio become seven okay so one ratio six so guys now we require quantity of cement we require cement as you can see guys cement is one part okay so one part is cement ratio sum of ratio is seven so divide by seven multiply it to the what this volume 0 0.834 okay so 0 0.834 so guys we need here okay so 1 divided by 7 multiply 0 0.834 so we required here 0 0.1191 meter cube this is the volume of cement required for cover this plaster for this room now guys we will multiply it with 1440 kg 1440 because density of the cement is 1440 kg per meter cube now we will convert this volume to the kg that how many kg or how much kg cement is required for this plaster to cover this room okay so multiply with 1440 so it should be multiply with 1440 so 0 0.1191 so this is the volume of cement multiply with 1440 so we required guys 171 kg 171 kgs cement is required for this room to cover for plaster now guys convert it to the bags okay so guys here remember one bag one bag cement is required one bag cement is 50 kg okay so this volume should be divided by 50 
uh, this kg should be divided by 50. Okay, so we required 3.43 numbers of bake. So say 4 numbers bake required. Cement bake required 4 numbers. Right? Now guys, we will find the quantity of sand, okay, in meter cube because we don't bring sand and uh, and bags are in kg okay that is in it cost is in meter cube so now we require guys sand so sand is equal guys you can see ratio of the sand is 6 so one part is cement and six part is sand so 6 divided by 7 6 divided by sum of ratio which is 7 multiply 0 0.8 3 4 right so sorry 6 divided by 7 multiply 0 0.834 so the volume of sand becomes 0 0.71 meter cube this is the volume of sand right we require 0 0.71 meter cube to cover this room for plaster now guys come to the main point okay that is guys cost of cement and sand right how we can find it cost so guys remember cost of cement cost of cement Guys, one bag cement current rate is price is one bag cement is one bag cement. That is by 550 rupees Pakistani. 550 rupees. Five hundred fifty rupees. So cost of cement, four numbers of bags required, and per bag cost is 550 rupees okay so 4 multiply 550 rupees is is per bag okay so also when you bring it to the home our construction site so it become guys 570 rupees 570 rupees 2 rupee is the cost of carriage to construction site okay here in our city so 4 multiply 570 uh, so it become 4 multiply 7 4 multiply 570 rupees so 2280 rupees this is the cost of cement now guys cost of sand okay remember this is the cost of one bag cement so one meter cube price of sand is 1250 rupees 1250 rupees but with carriage it become to the 1400 rupees right so guys here 0 0.71 meter cube sand is required to plaster this multiply with 1400 rupees 0 0.71 multiply sorry 0 0.71 multiply 1400 rupees so 994 rupees required for sand so cost of cost of sand and cement become on this room but guys remember i didn't include a slab slab plaster or roof plaster we didn't mention so if you want to mention so you will take the area of this one side multiply other side because 
I don't want to waste your time. This is just the formula. Now you can find easily for uh, your um, with your calculation for your house or for your room or anything. So if you want to find the uh, quantity of plaster for the roof, so the roof area is 4 multiply 4. So you will get the 16 meter square. Now it will convert again to the dry volume. Oh, okay, also multiply it with the thickness of the plaster, which is 0.0. Uh, 0, 1, 2 meter. Okay, you will get the volume and the volume should be multiplied with the dry and dry volume You will find the quantity of cement and sand same which I have discussed the front of you in this formula. Okay now total cost Plaster for wall because I didn't mention here the roof so therefore total cost of the plaster for wall so it become 2280 rupees plus 994 rupees okay so 2280 rupees plus 994 rupees so 32 it become we required 3274 rupees required to cover this plaster but guys remember here we didn't mention mason and labor okay so the mason and labor should be also included in this quantity but this is just the cost of cement and sand to plaster just wall not roof plaster so guys this is the method by which you can find the total quantity of cement sand etc with the help of this method which I have discussed the front of you guys the video is long but I think very important for you people so if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video and if you are new on this channel so subscribe the channel with press bell icon thanks for watching see you in next video